I'm Danielle Tedesco here at KOB4. You may see me on the morning show. I'm also the DIY queen. And today, I hope you'll join me while we make these coffee filter bats. Here's what you're going to need for these coffee filter bats. Of course, you'll need coffee filters, just an old spray bottle with water, washable markers, make sure they're washable, clothes pins, and some googly eyes some glue gun if you have an adult to help you otherwise just use your elmer's glue and we need some black paint let's get started so ask your parents for a coffee filter we know they have them we're gonna get one and just lay it out flat as flat as you can make it and get whatever colors you want to make your bat Scribble them on there in no order, whatever you want to do. Okay, let's color the center. All right, you ready for the magic? Water bottle, give it a good dose. You're gonna to start to see the colors bleed into each other. The more water, the better on this, especially if you didn't put that much marker like I did. <gasps> Look at that, it's so pretty. We're gonna, I'm gonna wiggle it all around to blend those colors. Like a tie-dye shirt. Okay, let's set that aside to dry. Now, we wanna paint our clothespin black. So I'm using black paint, but you can also use a marker and we'll show you how easy that would be. So let's try a marker on one side. It's a rugged textured bat. <laughs> See, easy enough, right? We'll paint the other side so you can decide which way you wanna go. If you are using paint, you probably need a grown-up's help. Now that our coffee filter is all dry, and so is our clothespin, we're going to take our coffee filter, fold it in half, and in half one more time. Then we're gonna trim a little scalloped edge on here with some scissors. Just little half circle cutouts. Watch this magic. When you open it back up, <gasps> it's a bat wing. We're also going to cut the bottom halfway, not all the way. Take your clothespin and clip it from the top down. I didn't trim it enough. More than halfway. Okay, clothespin in. Look at that. Love that. Now, we're going to paint the little mouth and glue the little eyeballs on. Just a teeny smidge of white paint. You could also use a white gel pen. Ta-da! Look how cute and easy that was. You can make the bat colors anything you want. Thanks for joining us. Catch us on the next one.